a bit different this week of being let loose with uh, a camera. So uh, I'm up in Cheshire, uh, a place called um, Cool Acres Fishery, absolutely stunning place, consists of three lakes. Uh, I'm actually fishing on Fox Lake. Uh, I think it's about six acres, uh, island dividing uh, across the middle. Uh, I'm over sort of the, the, the top left hand side, got a lovely um, reed bed, uh, just off the opposite bank, there's no fishing. So I'm going to be focusing on there, but basically I'm going to run you through some tactics about the fishery, give you some footage in around what the place looks like. Um, but I know one of the lakes here also does um, accommodation, um, Lodge, Lodge Lake I think it's called. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, it is stunning. Uh, I got here about uh, six o'clock this morning, they actually let me in early. Shouldn't arrive till eight o'clock, but um, they knew that I was coming up. So yeah, got invited up, been here now, I think it's probably about half past eight, nine o'clock, so it's quite early. Um, and uh, I'm here for the next 48 hours. I know they also do um, food to swim here, so um, Ben would love it. Um, and I might even get away without having to do some cooking, which would be lovely. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll take you over the journey. Uh, we'll see you go, show you what tactics, hopefully get some fish on the bank and uh, I'll keep you updated as we go along. Just over there, that middle tree, I've got all three, one, two, three, probably about four foot off of the reeds. Um, I did put my deeper out over there. It's about seven foot and uh, it goes up to about four. So I've got one right on the weeds and two just off. Going through, as I said, the lake is absolutely is beautiful. Uh, really nice. It's quite deep. Uh, I think we're going about, yeah, it goes to about seven foot two in the middle. It's pretty uniform. Looks like, uh, feels like a solid bed. So um, yeah, that's where we are. Going through, obviously, we're gonna go with the uh, OG fish. Very picturesque to say the least. Right down the bottom. Big island coming through the middle, as said. And then another island, which is here, and there's two little segways up there and up there where the fish can travel through from this side to that side. So, probably bigger. The, no, the, it's probably about nine acre. Really nice place. We're out totally in the middle of nowhere. And it's my home for the weekend. So it's about up by 12, quarter to one. Uh, nothing to report thus far. I've had a couple of knocks, it might have been liners. Uh, one of the guys up the other end of the lake, uh, I think she said a 30 pounder. Uh, just see the photographs of it, it's lovely. Um, I'm actually here today uh, with Andy Swimbooker, but at the moment it's tipping it down. The wind has just changed direction, so it was coming into this bay, um, but it's now uh, pushing back up the other far end where the guys just had a couple of fish from. But hopefully we've got a full moon tonight and uh, that might turn things around. That will do very nicely. Thank you very much, Mark. It's been quite nice to be uh, somebody to cook your food. Look at that. It's, um, I think it's coming on to about half four, five o'clock around that time. It's been absolutely tipping it down the whole time. Not a lot to say at the moment. I mean, it's, um, the weather's good, it's good for it. But basically, we've got four anglers along here. Uh, and there's nobody I set up the other end of the lake yet where tomorrow I think it's fully booked so that should make a big difference to get the fish to start moving obviously you could keep you updated as we go along um, baited up pretty much uh, where we need to do been able to walk round by the round by the reeds uh, and actually bait up by hand so you know I've got pretty accurate with where where we're going been tried to uh, go stealth approach for this uh, I've gone with three different uh, hook baits, three different um, hook lengths. Um, see which one sort of picks up first. Uh, I'll do a little bit on that tomorrow, go through the bait also, the, the, the ground bait, and uh, hopefully be able to get the same on the bank. So i uh, just got a call from the owner of the lake saying that uh, the bar's open. So it'd be rude not to uh, go and have a little look. 
got a uh, fishery with a bar how good does that go so i'm going to say for have a couple of drinks i'm going to do some shots while we're inside and uh just uh, i'll try and show you about a little bit but when i say this place is is just amazing i mean behind me that's the drive going up to the car park it's all fully secure in through here and it goes back out and that's the bar just behind here and then the driveway that goes out with some beautiful gates as well that was uh, something different coming and fishing and uh, going to have a couple of beers with some friends in the, at the fishery so I'm just heading back now got to say what a stunning complex uh, the owner's done a, an amazing job here highly recommend it um, be going for a bit more tomorrow so I'm just going to get back before, the, before it gets too dark and uh, certainly didn't want to drink too much while I was out here make a change so um, yeah I'll catch up with you later on an eventful night last night um, should improve a little bit today a lot more pressure I think every swim has been took up but uh, I said yesterday about a cob so I'm going to show you, take you over to Mark who's doing breakfast at the moment certainly something I'm going to be investing into and uh, let's go and have a look what it's about this is Mark doing breakfast for us all today you want to look under there? Yeah. look at that so this is something we'll be getting Actually, cook a Sunday dinner on it. So we're uh, mid-afternoon, day two. It's been uh, it's been tough going to say the least. Uh, weather hasn't been kind at all. But that's fishing, you know. As uh, you watch all the videos, you watch bits and people hauling in. But reality is, you do go fishing. You have the best bait in the world, tackle and tackle. Um, but it makes no odds if the fish aren't with you. Um, I'm hoping we'll get something out before we finish. Um, I've just had a, a quick change of tactic. So there's been nothing coming out on the bottom. So I've changed two over uh, to a zig in mid water. Um, probably halfway between the island uh, and, the, and the far bank. Uh, one, uh, seven foot. So I basically I've dropped to five foot. Uh, we're seven foot three so i've got up to five foot three on one and four foot three on the other I'm just changed them over i didn't take any uh shots of shooting them out it's, again it's actually tipping it down so <coughs> hopefully we can try and nick one as it's going through maybe tonight i'll put a couple more one of them back out on the bottom i've, I've kept the one solid bag over by the the reed bed where i said um you know i'm confident with that it landed me at b2 it landed me uh, at st john's it done me at burners so you know i know the rigs are good i know the bait is good i'm actually on uh, og fish wafter with the micro pellet uh, and flat spot i put a bag out this morning and i'm, I'm just going to leave that now uh for probably till tomorrow morning i'm going to pack up probably about 10 11 o'clock tomorrow so there's every chance of being late this afternoon or tomorrow um, mix wise I've uh, been using uh, flake maize uh, I did that 24 hours before I come put water onto that uh, mixed in with the um, with the pellet OG fruit and nut and um, sort of the mix we're going up to six and eight mil and obviously crumb uh, with the crumb OG fish and the uh, OG fruit and nut so you know there's pretty much everything covered uh totally confident in, in the bait that i'm using um it's just the fish that aren't feeding where we are i mean there's uh the, the lake is now full hopefully that'll push them around a bit but it is a boat lake so um you know the, where you'd normally have people going in and smashing it in with a, with a lead in and whatnot they're just being dropped so it's only gonna be the line pressure that'll probably make any difference if anything we have got the wind come to this corner but it's a cold northerly so again uh, they don't tend to follow the northerly plus it's raining so that's gonna be cold water going in 
Um, it's no excuses, the fish ain't there, you ain't catching. Um, but hopefully today at some point we'll be able to get something on the bank. So I thought I'd show you guys something a little bit different that you can do with your hook bait. Um, we've been working on something, or, or, or Ben and, and, and the Parker bait guys have been working on a, a new prototype hardened hook bait. It's been doing a lot of damage up and down the country, over linear and, uh, and uh, pretty much all over the country. But what I try and do is take something to the next level. What do I mean by that? Well, a hardened hooker in reality looks something like that to start with. So it's extra hard, so you're not going to get done by the crayfish and everything else. But what I do is take, it can be just a bottom bait, it can be a normal boilie, but these are hardened hookers. I lace them with sauce. I don't, don't leave them all together, so make sure they're nice and laced. I put into a separate pot, and in that pot consists of a lot of Himalayan salt. So again, in through here, Himalayan salt and the uh, magic dust. So while that's now drying up, it now forms into uh, a cultured hook bait. So it's a little bit like what, what Ben and, and team, you know, obviously they put out, but this is something a little bit different and it's a little bit more supercharged. Obviously it's not viable to put something out to the market with that level, but if you're looking at how you can make something a little bit different um, to anything else that's going to be out on the bank, then obviously as you can see, that comes through. Obviously this time of year the fish are looking for the salt, They've got all the, the, the little cultured, uh, activated um, magic dust, which is also coming off them and forming a nice little base around the bottom of the boiling. So the second rig that I've been using, Ronnie rig, which has just got a tiny little topper of foam, which is going through there. Just using, this on this one, size six curve shank. I'm using a supple braid um, out there. It's pretty uniform, it's about seven foot. Um, but it does raise up to about four foot. I'm not too sure what the bottom is looking like. So rather than being a boom going straight across, so I've just got to say nice easy to cast. It's perfectly, it's critically balanced basically. Um, so this is one that I was using in last night. I've actually got the same one, but it's, uh, you know, obviously I've switched over for the second 24 hours. So, you know, obviously I've got my pop-up and also I've got the uh, hardened hook bait uh, with the little pink topper which over the top which makes it just underneath a wafter um, which again just trying to give a slightly different presentation on the third uh, rod that I've got out I've actually switched now to a zig what I've done you can get the uh, little hook liners but with a screw on it and what I've got on there is a 12mm um, uh, OG fruit and nut pop-up so rather than just using a little bit of foam you know, you've obviously got the flavour and the smells that are going to be coming through, which, um, again, just trying to do something a little bit different to what everyone else is putting out there. So hope that giving you a little bit of an insight. Hopefully we can get a fish on the bank uh, with one of these, and uh, I can tell you a little bit more about how that goes. Coming into the final night, again, not a lot's going on, to be fair. Um, trying everything. There's a lot of little fish over in this corner. I'm seeing them rising up. Um just can't buy a bite at the moment um, so I've gone from zigs I'm actually going to leave a zig out all tonight tonight I've got the bait I'm on point you know there's uh, not much more we can do so um, again beautiful venue um, I just think the weather hasn't been kind there's not a lot of fish that has been out if they have they've been at the other end um, unfortunately where we booked in and you know we got given these swims uh, we didn't get the option to where we could um, where we could could fish basically we, you know I couldn't have the option of moving is actually just over there if you can see that little segue yeah just there that actually goes into a, a thing called the bowl which walking in yesterday looked really inviting and it looked like the fish were holding up as well in that part um, Guys have gone in there this morning uh, and pretty much having it off, to be fair. Uh, it's not pressured. There's nobody fishing it except one's in the main part of the lake, but this is also part of it. Um, hopefully now they've started fishing there, it might push it back through again. Uh, but I said it is fishing, um, you know, and unfortunately it does turn into camping sometimes. But, you know, sometimes you have to tweak and try different things to see um, if you can try and nick one. I see that, take that. Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah.
That was bad because I was sitting there looking out and I went, swell right on that corner and his alarm went off. That's a lovely looking fish. First fish of the session for Lee. Uh, swim book at you here at uh, Cool Lake Fishery. Here we are. Lovely. What a stunning looking fish. It's beautiful, one. not Well done, Lee. Thank you. So that's a great sign of actually one of us now uh, had a fish. It says we got four along the bank. We've seen not a thing for the past two days, um, but first one in the net, which is good. Uh, hopefully someone come a little bit further down the bank and uh, decide to vacate our little area. Anyway, probably a mid-double, beautiful, fully scaled fish. Uh, hopefully that's going to be the first of many. So that fish just came off of the island point there, the overhanging tree of just under, see the swell. And, uh, and the rod shut off, so great angling by Lee. 48 hours, uh, well, about 36 hours in, and uh, eventually something's, something's given. So I'm sure he's going to be putting another one back out. The wind is starting to trickle down this way now. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see a little bit more action. So eventually, managed to get us a little common. So. It's a mid to high double, I suppose. Lovely looking thing. Here with the uh, swim booker. And uh, yeah, at least got one in. So, for last morning, um, just doing a, a slow pack down uh, at the moment. So, I'll probably head off about midday, something like that. For the last day, actually, uh, the sun's out, may change. So I didn't sort of put too much on the fish last night but that was off of the left hand rod up against the, the weed bed. I had to change the other two rods, one out into the middle uh, and one just underneath this tree here, been baiting up a couple of days just in case they can come along the margin. But at the moment, so it's slow pack down, so it might come in the last, last couple of hours but um, I'll keep you updated. Pretty uneventful night to be honest. Um, yeah, after the, after the one fish, it was just under, it was about 20 pound. We, did, we didn't weigh, pretty much agreed on it. Lovely common. Uh, I mean, the place is absolutely stunning. Totally, highly recommend it. Um, but nothing else during the night other than getting a good night's sleep. Uh, I think Mark had a couple, uh, a couple of little baby ones, but still at least he's caught. Uh, Andy had one when we first got here. Uh, albeit another small one, but there's some big fish. I think during the session up the other end of the lake There's been two thirties and up the far end uh, The opposite side there was 35 pound uh, Ghostly I think the cats go up to about 70 pound in there and I think the biggest carp in here goes up to about 38 So well worth it, but one thing I'd probably recommend you got to swim one two um, where a lot of the reed bed that goes up by the side that looks a productive place every sort of two thirties are up the far end I think we're six seven and eight uh, probably about ten twelve um, another good place but if you get the chance uh, the bowl behind me um, the, the, the fish are definitely holding up now it's not pressured um, there's not much feature uh, but I think the guys in there at about six or seven so I said there was two segways um, in, in the sort of island where you walk along to come to the main swims where the fish can go into so um, yeah bit of an update I'm going to be slowly packed down now some people walk their dog some people maybe walk their cats T on the other hand he's my boy he's my boy what's his name he's mate quality. what's his name his name's Gilbert. Gilbert. Gilbert the the... Guinea fowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Back up, mate. He's mine. Come on, the 50 pounders. 
Come on the knot of pigs. Them scales on the back of it, beautiful. Every fish is on it. Tease mate's back. That's it, old Gilbert mate. Old Gilbert. <laughs> oh look at that mate. Yeah, none for you mate. <laughs> Give me my roll back. Well that's me I'm all packed up in the van. Got um about a three and a half hour drive back. Let's say I'm at uh, Crew Lake Fishery in uh, Cheshire, um, up by Stoke. Just want to say thank you to Levi, who's the owner, done an absolutely amazing job here. It's beautiful. Even if you're not into fishing and you want to come take the with Mrs. family, they've got accommodation on Lodge Lake, um, which again is stunning. Uh, the whole ground is about 25 acres but just big thank you again to Andy Swimbooker if anyone that if is up in the area or wants to travel up then go on to the Swimbooker app um, really simple to use um, and yeah definitely worthwhile even though the place was really busy yesterday and last night it doesn't seem busy the, the, the swims are spread out nicely there's a beautiful stamp of fishing here uh, we've all managed to, to, to nick some um, I think we had some uh, difficult conditions you know obviously when the fish are, are in, in, in your area um, you know it's, it is difficult to catch but again come up here it's been a lovely social been great to meet the owners great to see what, what they've done with the place um, and that's me so I uh, hope you enjoyed the, 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 the journey and uh, until next time